Welcome beautiful people. I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. In today's video, I'm about to style and install this unit from lovemehair.com. And this is their 5x5 five five lace closure wig. And it is a glueless, loose, wavy wig. So I'm about to show you guys how I install this wig and how I achieve the curls. Now, if you've watched my previous vlog or follow me on Instagram, you have seen this unit already. And a bunch of people were asking, Chef, like, we have to know where this wig is from. So I am super excited to show y'all this install. So this wig comes with an elastic on the inside to be able to wear it like a glue vest so you don't have to use any type of harsh glue or spray i will be using it in the purpose of this video for that extra melt but the wig can be worn glueless so first things first i did wash the hair and i did bleach the knots a bit because they were a little bit too dark for me so i'm going to go in with my hot comb just to comb that back just to get it to look smooth as possible and to get it to look flat and effortless then i'm going to be creating a center part with the wig since i washed it and i removed that party because i washed it so we got to recreate the part so i always tell y'all like the hot comb the hot comb is your best friend when you're installing a unit like it makes the difference it makes the wig look super professional so all you need is a hot comb and some wax stick like a hair wax stick you can get it at your beauty supply store you can get it on the website so i go in with both and i just keep combing down until the hair and the parting is as flat as i need it to be like i need it to look like a silk press i need this wig to look like it's coming from my scalp so once I'm satisfied with my part and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and create my loose wave. Now to create my loose wave, I'm just using a regular curling iron and I got this curling iron on Amazon. I think it's an inch and a half in width. So it's not like a major or one of those big industrial or professional um, curling iron. It's just a regular, regular curling iron that I think it goes up to 450 fahrenheit so um, i'm just gonna keep curling until i'm satisfied with the look so you're gonna create a loose wave with this it doesn't have to look too tight we just want that effortless beach wave type of look and i got this here in 14 inches so it is absolutely perfect for the summer like it gets really hot and you don't need anything like super long and this wig was just doing it for me so i'm just gonna keep curling until i'm satisfied and then i'm gonna show you guys how it looks when i'm done So this is what the hair is looking like after I have curled it. So I'm not going to um, unravel the curls as yet. Like I'm not going to comb through just yet. I'm going to wait until it's fully installed because I don't want to mess up the curls just yet. We want them to hold for a bit more. So we're just going to leave them like that. So now I'm going to slick my hair back. I'm not going to be doing the ball cap method for this, especially since it's a closure wig. I don't have to do all that extra work. All I need to do is just slick back my edges and then wear my little flesh tone wig cap. Now for this part, I'm going to go in with some foundation or rather bronzing powder. And I'm going to put that on the lace so that it can look like my scalp or match my makeup and my complexion as best as possible. And then I flip the wig over for the install. Now, once I've aligned everything together because of the band inside the wig, as I tell y'all, told y'all, you can wear this glueless because of that band once the wig is tightened. So I'm just going to cut off the excess lace and then see what we're working with. Now for me personally, and this is very much optional, I like a little bit of soup. Like you don't have to do the soup soup action, but you know we like to do a little soup to doo over here. So I'm gonna create my soups by um, using this little 
spot iron that I have and I'm gonna curl the hair upwards to create that swoop or rather baby hair or edges however you want to call it then I'm gonna go in with my EBI and spray and I spray that directly on my edge brush then on the hair so I don't spray directly I just dab it on my finger and then dab it on the lace to melt it like you don't have to use too much I'm doing this to give it that ultra melt look and also to just make sure that the wig stays in place I don't need it shifting or anything like that so I'm gonna be using the tension method by putting this um, band on the lace and you can get a band at your local beauty supply store or on the website and trust when you use a band to lay your lace like to melt it it is it is the ultimate melt so that is basically it so i leave that on there while i change my clothes so i didn't do anything differently and then i'm gonna play around with the hair fluff it out just to get it to my desired feel and now for the parting space on the wig um, I'm gonna go in with the same bronzer that I use just a little bit of makeup or you can use like a translucent powder or a face powder or something and then just dab that on your parting this I'm doing this especially since I didn't do the ball cap method so I'm seeing a little bit of my wig cap and I want that to be hidden so I'm just gonna dab the powder directly on top play with it some more and that is the end result let me know what you guys think about this you didn't yeah i am so freaking in love with this bob like the bob is absolutely giving all the details will be down below for you don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram snapchat twitter and tiktok at damn and i'll see y'all in my next video go on big up with yourself bye guys